In today's episode, a Volvo will be blue, a truck will be red, and I will be colorblind. Wait, what? Drag racing cars often have fiberglass bodies to save the weight. The problem is that when your engine or supercharger explodes, which is quite common in drag racing, the immense pressure rips the body off the frame. According to the original uploader, the driver was not shaken, just stirred, and the car is being rebuilt. Cars are like humans, they need fluids and nutrients to move. they are expensive and cheap ones, those that will die earlier because of an accident and those that get angry if you turn them on. You may know that Nissan Skyline is a legendary streetcar, but did you know that it is also very good off-road? Nissan Skyline. No, I was just kidding. Volvo cars had an engine series called the Volvo Red Block engine, and it is what you think. The motor block was painted red. That's it. Oh, it sounds pretty good too. This is a Formula student car from a Dutch team which has 4 electric motors and can reach 0 to 100 km or 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.5 seconds. This footage is not sped up. There's always this moment where you can tell a car is not street legal by just hearing it before it shows up on camera. Just like this monster. If you have a steering wheel for racing games or just a really expensive sports car, you may know the struggle of finding the correct pedals when you turn the wheel more than 180 degrees. This guy, however, can't relate to this problem. One of my viewers sent me this video with the caption Here's a Ford Escort Mark II doing what a Ford Escort Mark II does the best. I couldn't agree more. Remember, there's always someone who drives faster than you, even if you have a sports car. That's why it is so important to always check the mirrors. This KTM driver did not do it. The consequences? Free destroyed racing cars. By the way, everyone was okay. Only the BMW driver who had a open helmet got some glass in his face, but is now fine. In case you ever wondered how it's like to drive a straight piped Porsche GT3 RS with one hand, here is a good video. The Italian moped rider is back. This time he used his storage box for something that you usually don't find in Italian mopeds. This guy took parts from a modern Mercedes T63 and swapped them into an old Mercedes W108. Parts like the engine, suspension, brakes, interior and more. The best thing? It handles pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
Recently, one of my subscribers had a small issue with his car. Is that, is that a fucking scratch? Oh god damn it man, I just got fucking painted. For fuck's sake. When all these are not busy tailgating you on the highway, they like to tailgate a random wall, even when stationary. I'm running out of drugs, please help me. If your turbo is louder than your engine, you're doing something exactly right or completely wrong. I am not a mechanic, so I have no idea whether this statement is true. What makes this video so special is not the fact that a tank is doing a handbrake turn, but the fact that a tank is doing this right next to a public road. I love Russia. I'm not usually a fan of the typical Volkswagen Group DSG farts and exhaust crackles, but this Mark III Skoda Octavia is different. Just have a listen. Here is a small question. Can you guess what engine this Volkswagen Golf 3 has? Leave a comment down below. If you have ever wondered where your Amazon package is, remember that truckers also need to take a break and have some fun. Here is a follow up to the guy racing an airplane in a car. There is someone new waiting for him to do a drag race. A Apache attack helicopter. One, two, three! That guy's not even racing yet! Yeah, he did, he blinked! Here is something that James May would appreciate a Fiat Panda drifting. I am thinking about competing in rally next year, but there is a lot of paperwork to do and it costs a lot of money. Maybe street drifting with your lawnmower is just more fun. As a small thank you for watching my video until the end, here is an interesting fact. Did you know that lemons float in water, but limes sink? Also, I recently played a horror game on my second channel. Oh, arigatou gozaimasu! <laughs> I'm coming to... Just click right here if you want to check it out. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.